Hi. Gonna do um, C++ and gonna make a moving circle to go move with your upper right, left uh, arrow keys. And I'm gonna use uh, power plugs. Power plugs. Click the window. Power plugs. And we're gonna use uh, two libraries. That's the graphics at .h and windows.h. And yeah, this is very old so you have to insta install that yourself. There are some tutorials uh, online to do that. And you will end up uh, <coughs> installing it. And then you have the files you have to put in the, in the include folders and the bin lips and all that kind of stuff. And you have to set the linker settings in your, uh, in your EDA code blocks in this case. Um, so yeah, this is my compiler uh, that I set in the EDA code blocks. And this is how I called the file. And these are the linker settings. And this is where you link to, the file you link to. And you have to change probably some settings with all the other tutorials if you install the stuff. And you will end up finding some Google Drive from some guy probably in the end to get it working. But yeah, it's personal, so you will probably find that too if you need it. But it's probably in line 302 and you have to change some stuff. So if the, all the files are correct and you get everything going, you yeah, run the test files from those tutorials and with no errors, then you get to go for this one. Uh, okay, well first, uh, this is the code if you don't want to listen to long me babbling. So let me scroll down a bit and pause it. And afterwards, I'll talk about it more. For that step. So yeah, if you type that over, uh, you can probably uh, keep going. Uh, what will happen? You will uh, get a window uh, full screen. That's this part. Make it full screen. And you get a. Uh, some variables you can set where the circle is going to start and uh, things on the screen is going to happen. Things are going to get dropped. Uh, this is the doubling buffer part. So if you don't use that, you'll probably end up uh, with a lot of flickering on your screen and not drawing correctly and seeing black parts and weird, weird uh, visual uh, art things will go. Gonna happen. We're gonna, yeah, we're going on. We're going on. And then we got an infinite loop. And then we're gonna set uh, the page stuff for double buffering. And it's like a little mat going on. And you have to clear the device after that. And in the end, do another calculation. What actually happens is it will make two pages. Or just one virtual page, so to say, in the background. So it also always has a, a drawing ready to go as a page, as a window. And so you don't see weird stuff. So it will be continuously smoother. And the smoothness, or so to say, and the, the speed that it will show the page it has drawn in the background, but that will come up on the screen as a delay or five milliseconds in this case, so five milliseconds. And you can change that and sort out what, what kind of looks cool to you. Um, then go back up a little bit to see, are we starting the code here? Um, I disabled uh, making it a color that you want, you have a color code. You can look that up for see the plus plus for all kinds of colors. Uh, but I've commented that out because I'm uh, recording in black or white because I like that. And it's better for the light if it's a bit dark and stuff with all the colors. And I like darkness. Okay, I'm gonna draw a circle and got two uh, variables that we uh, initialized in the start. And this part, the 10, is the radius of the circle. If you leave your mouse a little bit over it, it will tell you this kind of stuff. Very handy, that's the EVA doing that for you, so it gives you some hints. And go down, then you have NIF, else, if else, if else, 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 blah, blah, blah. And we are gonna use this get async key state. And the V key underscore up means the up arrow in this case. And here is the left button, and it's very simple actually. And then this is the calculation. 
this part. But it puts in here. And you're good to go. Um, I already uh, run it, so I don't have to compile it. But of course, it compiled on my machine because I had all the things correctly. And then you can run it. I have to switch the screen probably. Um, because you don't actually see it probably, I think, yet. Um, so... Uh, I have to click the correct window again. This one. And then it's lost. I think I have to find it again, the circle. I don't know where it is. Kind of boring. So if you want to exit up top, and this window, it's going to run it again. Because it won't work. You can't see it. So I'm going to make it to the middle of the screen in time. And then go to OBS quicker. <laughs> and go back to this one. Now you can see it probably up. So left, right, up and down. And we end with an up, or positive. That's it. It will go out of screen eventually. It keeps on moving if you don't do uh, any other directions. So that's it. It's a bit like a Pac-Man or something, kind of. If you want to do something like that. So I hope you uh, can use this and have some fun with it. Good luck. And that's it. Bye bye. I'll tap again to get uh, the exit.